Look at forgery. Yeah. Uh-huh. Imitation of the handwriting and signature of another person. Oh. In order to deceive and defraud is called forgery. Yeah. <laughs> now, checks and other orders to pay money out of a victim's bank account are forged with the innocent victim's signature. <laughs> Banks must know the true signature of their depositors. Yeah. Customers. <laughs> But sometimes the signature is so well done the bank's cashier is fooled. Oh. Sometimes a criminal presents the forged check to a grocery oh, or market in payment for a small item, oh. receiving the difference in money. Oh. Now, forgery. Yeah. Forgery is yes. imitation of the handwriting and signature of another person. <laughs> In order to deceive and defraud is called forgery. <laughs> now, I know I didn't get a copy of the dissolution of marriage. Now, <laughs> there are numerous court documents I actually didn't get a copy of. <laughs> I didn't get any of the actual documents in the sealed confidential envelopes. Now, now I asked you to find out if there's any forgeries yeah. of Heidi Lee Budneck. Yeah. I did that in numerous emails and videos. Yeah. And you decided that we did not have to enforce forgery laws. Huh. Now, you had a really good reason for this. Yeah. <laughs> you had a good reason, right? Now, I showed you a forgery this morning with the emboss yes, <laughs> of the Superior Court of Clallam County. Yeah. That forgery does not look anything like the actual signature of Christy Miller. Yeah. It's nothing that's so well done that you can't see the difference that you could be fooled. Oh! Now, let's say I really was wanting to be the dictator. You'd say there's... No, because it's going to be dictator Paul C. Budnick. Yeah, I, I know. You say, oh, he's, he's pie in the sky. There's no possible way. Like, when you... <laughs>